but I'm going to ask a question first. Would anybody here like to uh, give a definition of folk music? Please, in the English language. Nobody? I think these are good definitions because you should know that they are not the old definitions. Uh, the term folk music was invented in Europe. He said, the old ballads are the truly classical music. They neither smiled nor frowned like an old statue. They were, had a sustained serenity. Whatever these definitions are, I think I agree with most of them. Uh, but also, there's people who are pop musicians might say the same thing. Ask questions, and people like it. It may be that if there's a human race around 100 years from now, they'll say that rock music was the folk music of the teenagers. I don't know. What do you think? I don't. I try not. <laughs> My guess is that all I can tell you is that uh, there are now tens of thousands of people in the world who like to make music and like my grandson, they don't care what you call it. You could call it village music. You could call it protest music. You can call it rock. You could call it anything you want. But they are making up songs which mean something uh, right here and now. Such as. Oh, four years ago, uh, a very rich man in America, you've heard of him, decided to run for president. <laughs> and in a magazine, somebody wrote a little poem about him. And I put a tune to it. It's called The Ross Perot Guide to answering embarrassing questions. <laughs> when, when something in my history is found Which contradicts the view that I propound Or shows that I perhaps am not the guy I claim to be Here's what I usually do I lie, <laughs> I simply, boldly falsify. I look the other feller in the eye and just deny, deny, deny. I don't, don't apologize, apologize, not me instead. I say I never said the things I said, <laughs> nor did the things some people saw me do when confronted by some things they know are true. I lie, I simply boldly falsify. I look the other feller in the eye and just deny, deny, deny. Sing it with us. I lie. I hate those weasel words some slickies use <laughs> to blur their past or muddy up their views. Not me. I'm blunt. One thing that makes me great is that I'll never dodge nor obfuscate 
generic for politicians and uh, it may be sung now I think for years even after people forget who Perot was because face it it's a great temptation to lie when you're in politics or at least a uh, skimp on the truth you're trying to pull together people so you want to tell them the things they want to hear. I decided that I had been too much of a professional optimist much of my life. And I decided a few years back to sing this song more often. The same question down there.
I know hopes that flickered still. I tried to mouth each separate human tongue. Walking down death row, I sang of hopes that still might be. Singing, singing, singing down death row to each separate human cell, one million, two or three, or four or five or six. If we'd only stick together, we'd not be here. If we could love each other's lives, we'd not be sitting here. And if only this we could believe, we still might, we might still be retrieved. Be somebody here would like to rewrite it. We don't have to do it as much more. This is what I think it is? Yeah. I, I'll do it with this. Oh, you're shy. I think I've memorized it. It's kind of a rap talking <laughs> song. <laughs> by a friend of mine, Josh White Jr. He's the son of a man I knew very well, a great blues singer. Uh, but Josh read a book about the English language, and he put together something he called Crazy English. And uh, I'm curious to know how much of this would be intelligible to somebody in India, because I use words which are very well known in America, but I don't think are used here. English is the most widely used language in the history of the planet. One out of every seven human beings can speak it or read it. Half the world's books, three-fourths of the international mail, are in English. <laughs> it has the largest vocabulary, perhaps two million words, and a noble body of literature. But face it, English is crazy. <laughs> Just a few examples, there's no egg in eggplant. No pine or apple in pineapple. <laughs> A writer writes. But do fingers faint? <laughs> Hammers don't ham. Grocers don't gross. Quicksand works slowly. Boxing rings are square. English is crazy. If the plural of tooth is teeth, shouldn't the plural of booth be beef? <laughs> we have one goose, two geese. Why <coughs> Why not two moose, two meese? <laughs> I've been right about that. Oh, we have one mouse, two mice. Why not one house or two heists? <laughs> now, here's something I don't think you know. If it's one index and two indices... Why not two Kleenex or two Kleenices? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should not change that. If there's... If uh, there's one male sex, but a uh, male and female make two cc's. <laughs> you can comb through the annals of history, but not just one annal. 
<laughs> you can make amends. But not just one amend. And if you have a bunch of odds and ends and get rid of all but one, what do you call it? An odd or an end. <laughs> In what other language do you drive on a parkway? Oh, God, you're way ahead of yourself. Way, oh. I got it. If a teacher taught... Why isn't it true that, you're, that a preacher prod? <laughs> if a vegetarian eats vegetables... Why, what does a humanitarian eat? <laughs> Help us out. English, English is crazy. If you wrote a letter. Perhaps you also boat your tongue. In what other language do you drive on a parkway? And park on a driveway. <laughs> ship by truck. But send cargo by ship. Recite at a play. But play at a recital. Have noses that run. And feet that smell. says <laughs> Can a slim chance, the fat chance, be the same? When a wise man and a wise guy are very different. <laughs> <laughs> to overlook something and to oversee something are very different. But quite a lot and quite a few are the same. <laughs> How can the weather be hot as hell one day? And cold as hell the next. <laughs> English is great. have to marvel at a language in which your house can burn up while it's burning up, no, burning down. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, your house can burn down while it's burning up. You fill out a form while, while filling it in. <laughs> your alarm clock goes off by going on. Which <laughs> is crazy. Face it, English was invented by people, not computers, and reflects the creativity of the human race. Which is not a race at all. <laughs> That's why when the stars are out, they're visible. When the lights are out, they're invisible. <laughs> when I wind up my watch, I start it. When we wind, wind up, up this rap, we, we end it. English is <laughs> sung by a wide lot of people who sing for children, children in camps, and I found out it was written by my friend Harry Belafonte for uh, Jim Henson of the Muppets <coughs> wanted to have a show with African masks, and Harry and a friend did the music. And so you don't have to do these motions, but here's how the song goes. What's unusual, they were listening to records of Nana Muscuri with that irregular Greek rhythm. Instead of one, two, three, four, it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We come from the mountains, we come from the mountains, go back to the mountains, turn the world around. We come from the mountains, go back to the mountains, turn the world around. We come from the fire, we come from the fire, go back to the fire, turn the world around. We come from the fire, go back to the fire, turn the world around. We come from the water, we come from the water, we come, go back to the water, turn the world around. We come from the water, go back to the water, turn the world around. Most people usually then end it by saying, we come from the mountain, we come from the fire, we come from the water, turn the world around. We come from the sky, go back to the sky, turn the world around. I found myself saying, how about, we come from the city, we come from the city, go back to the city, 
turn the world. <laughs> and then, how about, we live in the college, we live in the college. <laughs> Go out to the people, turn the world to the <laughs> My guess is that for very little children, this is these these motion songs are fun. Do any of you know the one? Eatsy weetsy spider goes up the water spout. Down came the rain. Wash the spider out. Up came the sun. Dried up all the rain. And the eatsy weetsy spider went up the spout again. The fake. Who do you suppose wrote that? I bet it's hundreds of years old, but maybe not. Same song yeah. about the spider. Yeah. They sing it in Hindi. In Hindi? Oh, is that, let me hear it in Hindi. Somebody, please. The important thing about folk music is not of uh, exactly how old it is, or is it strictly folk or not, but it's the folk process we should keep our eye on. And this is an ancient process. I mean, as long as there have been human beings, I'm sure we took an old idea and reshaped it. And it happens in every field of life. Cooks reshape old recipes to fit new stomachs. Lawyers amend old laws to fit new citizens. And melodies get changed. <coughs> Stories get changed. Hey. <coughs> is there in India, there must be a story like this. This is an old European folk story. A man was out chopping in the woods, and he heard a cry for help. There was a little man this tall with his beard caught in a log. He'd been trying to split a log. His beard got caught, and he could not get free. <coughs> and the woodchopper said, you're one of the little men. Magic. The man said, put me free, please. The man, well, I'm scared to be near you. But he pulled the log apart, and the little man says, Thank you, you saved my life. I give you three wishes of anything you want. And then he vanished. Am I imagining things? He went home and he told his wife, do you suppose it's true we have three wishes, anything we want? <laughs> I'm not going to try it. I wish I had a big leg of lamb, all roasted. All of a sudden, right in front of him, a wonderful leg of lamb. His wife says, you fool! You could have asked for a million dollars, and you asked for a leg of lamb, you fool! I wish you that leg of lamb was stuck on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get it off. It would not come off. All day they tried, it would not come. They couldn't cut it off, they couldn't pull it off. They had to use the third wish to wish the office knows. That's an old European folk story. And just a few weeks ago, a friend of mine told me a story about three sailors uh, got shipwrecked and they're on a little desert island. And they don't know how they're ever going to get off it, but one day floats by what looks like a funny tin can. And they bring it. It wasn't a tin can. It looks like it's a little brass lamp. And one of them says, let's try shining it up. And he was rubbing it, and all of a sudden, whoosh, a magic genie there. Master, you have three wishes. There are three of you. Each of you has a wish. Well, one says, I, I wish I was home. He vanished. The other said, well, I wish I was in Joe's bar. He vanished. The genie said, and what would you like? Well, gee, I don't really know what I want. You must think of something. 
I can't think. Do you wish my two friends were here to help me? Is there a story like that in India? <laughs> now there will be. <laughs> My main function in life has been to try and persuade people that they do not need to depend on the radio or the TV. It sure has Sometimes there's something wonderful there, but life was meant to be lived, not watch other people live. And so, how many of you will be at the concert tomorrow night? I'm going to make so bold as to sing a song which some of my friends disapprove of, but it calls for some harmony. And <coughs> although most people think of harmony as a European invention. Africa knew harmony thousands of years ago, they now feel. Slightly different than European harmony. But did you ever stop to think that the first and the third note of any scale makes a nice sound? Everybody sitting against the wall hum this note. <laughs> Everybody in the center hum. Everybody in the back. All together, one, two, three. You can do it with any chord. Try this one. One, one, two, three, four, five. So. Mm -hmm. If it's too high, you can sing a low version of it. But some people sing the one. one. All together. How about a minor chord? about this chord. song before, because I only just put it together. And once upon a time, I would have been contemptuous of it. It talks about the beautiful moon, and isn't it nice to be out among the moon? Back in the dirty 30s, there were all sorts of songs, June, moon, croon, spoon. <laughs> See you through the trees. You're watching us. You're watching us while walking home. While walking home. Papa Sun. Papa Sun. On other side of Earth. May 
make it all so green. 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 That's right. Some of you are getting harmony. You don't have to sing the melody. Sing any note. As long as you're singing, there's no such thing as a wrong note. <laughs> try this song again. And then it goes on to some fancy chords. Sister Moon, Sister Moon, we see you through the trees. You're watching us, you're watching us, while walking home, while walking home. Papa Sun, Papa Sun, on other side, of other side. Make it all so green. 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 Mama Earth. Mama Earth. Six billion pairs of feet. Seeking a path. Seeking a path. Seeking a way. people 
demonstrating in Washington. Uh, I think the peace movement core is still there. And if Washington was to try anything as foolish as a long war, again, there would be millions of people again in Washington. Trouble is they learnt, they're more clever now, they have a very quick war, like the Gulf War. And, uh, or like Grenada, or Panama. Zip, 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 oh, it's all over. Before anybody can mobilize. <coughs> However, I'm singing peace songs <coughs> everywhere I go still. And the, the audiences sing with me. And I'm not the only one. There are literally thousands of people like me. Some of us sing in schools and summer camps. Some of us sing in churches. Some of us sing for unions. Some of us sing in what we call coffee houses. Once a week, a group of people get <coughs> together and sing old and new songs. But uh, my guess is, in the main, you're right. Masses of people that oh, I got more important jobs to do. I'm worried. How am I going to feed my family? How am I going to get a job? And at least at the moment, <coughs> peace is something that we sing about at Christmas, but uh, don't actually do much about the rest of the year. Any other similar question? Do your peace songs take into account the new kinds of wars that you just spoke about? Well, my grandson and I occasionally sing songs of the Vietnam War as a matter of history. After all, all my life I've sung songs out of history. I'm a history nut. And so we'll sing songs of the Vietnam War. What other songs are, are there which were more, would be more up to date? There's an environmental war. Yeah, you might say that there's a war being conducted by businessmen against the whole planet. If it's profitable, do it. And if they say it's poisonous, hire a lot of publicity people to convince them that uh, it's not poisonous. They spend millions and millions of dollars on public relation campaigns. And some of them are effective. Did you read the article just two days ago in one of the newspapers on environmental fanatics? <laughs> These environmentalists, they're stopping progress. <laughs> Paper. 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 Plastic. 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 Compost. Compost. Glass. Take time and just recycles a solution to pollution. 
what is left, there's no guarantee. started raising money to build a huge sailboat, uh, the kind of boat that sailed on the Hudson River carrying bricks and boards and lumber 150 years ago. And uh, we christened it Clearwater, and we said our purpose was to help clean up the river. People said, how can a sailboat clean up the river? We said, it brings people together. And when hundreds and sometimes thousands of people get together, all of a sudden, politicians start paying attention. And the Hudson River is now halfway clean because of this campaign. We're not the only ones. Uh, in 1963, a biologist wrote the book Silent Spring is there anybody here who has not heard of Silent Spring? It, was, it told how the chemical DDT was not just killing insects, it was killing the birds. And there would be a silent spring and went on to say it was, it was hurting us. Uh, the biologist was a woman, Rachel Carson, and uh, she died soon after, but Millions of people like me were very much influenced by that book. Up till that time, I'd thought the main job in the world was try to help the meek inherit the earth. And then I realized that after reading her book, the meek might eventually inherit the earth, but it would be such a poisonous garbage dump, it wouldn't be worth much. And. Uh, all around the United States, there were protests. President Nixon had to start the Environmental Protection Agency. And today there must be hundreds, maybe for all I know thousands, of big and little environmental organizations. Save this, stop that, so on. Some of them you know of, like Greenpeace, worldwide. And uh, this boat, the Clearwater, is now sailing. It takes about 10 or 15,000 school children out every year, 50 at a time. What else should be told about it? <coughs> what do they do when they get on the boat? Too long. <laughs> they get a little introduction to uh, science. They look through a microscope. Hey, what's all those wiggly things? Well, that's called plankton. If there were no plankton in the world, plankton is for fish what grass is for cows. If there were no plankton in the river, there wouldn't be many fish. And others put a net in the water, they catch some fish, and they learn how a fish lives, and why a fish goes belly up when it dies. And the crew sing some songs, and get the kids laughing, after three hours, they get in the bus and go back to their school. We actually wish we had many more than one boat. We sometimes get a schooner to sail alongside us to take some of the extra classes, but we could use many, many boats because so many schools ask us to take their children out. The big problem now is chemicals. The, the toilet waste has been taken care of. Well, not completely, but 90%. And we can now swim in the Hudson River. 
30 years ago, you flushed the toilet, went zoop, right into the <laughs> Hudson. The big problem now is chemicals, agricultural chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, industrial chemicals, just any surface waste, somebody empties the oil out of their car and dumps it on the ground, sooner or later it gets into the water. And uh, there have been literally hundreds of musicians who've helped uh, help the Clearwater campaign, singing for free <laughs> up and down the river. We gotta sing one more song. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> One of the crew volunteers put new words to a rhythm and blues rock and roll song. We should do this with electric instruments and drums. <laughs> to repeat. Sailing up, sailing up, sailing down, sailing down. Now, the first few lines you repeat just what I sing, but the next two lines you do opposite. I say up, you say down. down. I say down, you say up. Here we go. <laughs>
hear you all sing some song. <laughs> so Schmidt, why don't you, you, can you use one of our guitars? Last night I heard a wonderful song, several wonderful songs. Monica. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't have his harmonica. Do you need it for for fiction? <laughs> Contradiction? This is a modern song. Notwithstanding allegory, disapproving all direction. Synthesizing, categorizing, analytic, explorizing, advocating, prophesizing each reaction with myopic action. I am a walking, talking contradiction. Criticizing observation, hypnotizing population with fundamental thoughts and action. Education, graduation, freedom of self-expression, exhibition, exposition, military power of horrification. I'm a walking, talking contradiction, living in an age of fiction, nucleonic, subbionic. in Hindi. Uh, bow, bow, bow. The bowels. The bowels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song that my music's been influenced by one Pete Seeger, Bob Dylan, and of course the bowels of Bengal. This is a song that I had picked up on one of my journeys in Calcutta. And I think Pete and I, we had a long chat yesterday and he told me that it wasn't just the Baul who thought that human beings are my, a microcosm of the universe and thus we are all strangers and cousins. There was something, uh, there was another group that... Uh, well, I was telling you, um, a famous engineer and architect Buckminster Fuller, he invented the geodesic dome. He said, really, Darwin was wrong. Man is in the image of God. All 92, all 92 elements in us reflect the 92 elements of the universe out there. And uh, I, I look forward to the 21st century being known for ages to come as the age of synthesis when people realized that they might disagree, but didn't disagree 100%. Shit, 
থাকে সকল সুখে সকল দুঃখে আমার বুকে অহরহ to a group called uh, Pratidhvani that is its name is Eco. It echoes people's voice, people's melodies and all this. It's a 16 year old uh, group and uh, a poetry written by uh, very famous poet Sahil Ludhyanvi. Sahil Ludhyanvi, he, he was uh, one of the uh, leading uh, writers in the progressive writers movement and I'm trying to sing hum one of his uh, poetry. Yeah, this is correct. <laughs> In Nikali Sadio Ke Sarese Jabrat Ka Chal Dhal Ke Ga In Nikali Sadio Ke Sarese Jabrat Ka Chal Dhal Ke Ga Jab Dukh Ke Badal पिघलेंगे जब सुख का सागर छलकेगा जब अंबर झूम के नाचेगा जब धरती नगमे गाएगी वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी 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 बीतेंगे कभी तो दिन आखिर ये भूख के और बेकारी के टूटेंगे कभी तो बुत आखिर दौलत की जारादारी के जब एक अनोखी दुनिया की बुनियाद उठाई जाएगी वो सुबह 
कभी तो आएगी वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी दौलत के लिए जब औरत की इस मत को न बेचा जाएगा दौलत के लिए जब औरत की इस मत को न बेचा जाएगा चाहत को न कुछ ला जाएगा गैरत को न बेचा जाएगा अपनी काली कर तूतों पर जब ये दुनिया शर्माएगी वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी 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 जिस सुबह की खातिर जुग जुग से हम सब मर मर कर जीते हैं जिस सुबह की अमृत की धुन में हम जहर के प्याले पीते हैं वो सुबह न आई आज मगर वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी 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 तुम्हारे हाथ पत्थरों की तरह संगीन है जेल में गाए गए गीतों की तरह उदास है ढोने वाले पशुओं की तरह सख्त हैं सख्त हैं सख्त हैं तुम्हारे हाथ तुम्हारे हाथ पत्थरों की तरह संगीन है जेल में गाए गए गीतों की तरह उदास हैं तुम्हारे हाथ भूखे बच्चों के तम तमाए चेहरों की तरह है तुम्हारे हाथ मधुमक्खियों की तरह दक्ष है ये जहां तुम्हारे हाथों पर नाचता रहता है नाचता रहता है ये जहा तुम्हारे हाथ पत्थरों की तरह संगीन है जेल में गाए गए गीतों की तरह उदास है आ मेरे लोगों आ मेरे लोगों एशियाई लोगों अफ्रीकी लोगों मध्य पूर्व के लोगों मेरे अपने देश के लोगों तुम अपने हाथों की तरह किसे हुए कठोर हो तुम अपने हाथों की तरह तरो ताजा युवा हो तुम अपने हाथों की तरह किसे हुए कठोर हो तुम अपने हाथों की तरह तरो ताजा युवा हो आ मेरे लोगों आ मेरे लोगों तुम्हारे हाथ पत्थरों की तरह संगीन है जेल में गाए गए गीतों की तरह उदास है भोज ढोने वाले पशुओं की तरह सख्त है सख्त है सख्त है तुम्हारे
सिपाही से पूछो वो कहा जा रहा है कौन दुखिया है जो गा रही है भूखे बच्चों को बहला रही है जलने की बुआ रही है जिंदगी है कि चिल्ला रही है जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो वो कहा जा जलते हैं तारे क्या जवानी का खो हो रहा है सुर्ख है आचलों के किनारे जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो वो कहा जा रहा है गिर रहा है सिपाही का डेरा हो रहा है मेरी जा सवेरा जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो वो कहा जा रहा है जाने वाले सिपाही से पूछो वो कहा जा रहा है eating a little eating in a little roadside uh, what we call a diner and on the back of the menu were some words and I put a tune to them I found out that it's these words are famous uh, and they've been copied in many places and I'm just one of a number of people that tried to put melody to the words they were probably written almost a hundred years ago, maybe more. <coughs> and it's for senior citizens like me. <coughs> this is a request from her. <laughs> How do I know my youth is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went. But in spite of it all, I'm able to grin and think of the places my get up has been. The old age is golden, or so I've heard said. But sometimes I wonder as I crawl into bed with my ears in a drawer, my teeth in a cup, my eyes on the table until I wake up. As sleep dims my vision, I say to myself, is there anything else I should lay on the shelf? 
But though nations are warring and business is vexed, I'll still stick around to see what happens next. How do I know my youth is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went. But in spite of it all, I'm able to grin and think of the places my get up has been. was young, my slippers were red. I could kick up my heels right over my head. When I was older, my slippers were blue, but still I could dance the whole night through. Now I am older, my slippers are black. I huff to the store and I puff my way back, but never you laugh. I don't mind at all. I'd rather be huffing than not puff at all. <laughs> I know my youth is all spent. I get up and go, as got up and went. But in spite of it all, I'm able to grin and think of the places my get up has been. I get up each morning and dust off my wits, open the paper and read the old bits. If I'm not there, I know I'm not dead, so I eat a good breakfast and go back to bed. How do I know my year is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went, but in spite of it all, I'm able to grin and think of the places my get up has been. Dekhi 
देखिया जाइ हो बंधु मरनो काले पागो पागल होइए बंधु पागल बनाइने पागल है को पागल होइए बंधु पागल बनाइले पागो ओ बंधु रे पागलो हुए बंधु पागल बनाइले पागो हो